If you're a sound engineer or lighting technician, chances are you've handled your fair share of cables. But if you've ever found yourself in need of a last minute fix, you may have been tempted to swap an XLR for a DMX cable or vice versa. Regardless of which camp you fall into, it's generally considered a sin among sound and lighting pros to mix the two. But what's the worst that can happen? Both cables use the same connector most of the time, have similar sized cables and come in a variety of colors. So what's the actual difference? Can you mix them and should you? So let's take a look and bust some myths. First off, XLR is technically shorthand for external line return and describes a type of connector found on audio and lighting equipment. On the other hand, DMX is short for digital multiplex, the standard protocol used to transmit information between a lighting desk and certain types of lighting and special effects. Neither XLR or DMX describe an actual type of cable. However, for simplicity's sake, we're going to refer to microphone cables as XLR and lighting cables as DMX. Sorry in advance. Since 1955, microphone cables have used 3-pin XLR connectors with a 5-pin version introduced in 1986 for lighting equipment. Not only did this help distinguish lighting cables from audio cables, but also introduced an extra pair of data wires for future developments. Few manufacturers have tried to take advantage of these extra wires, which why most modern equipment accepts 3-pin and or 5-pin connectors and many 5-pin cables only wire the first three terminals. So aside from the number of pins, there's no real difference between the XLR connectors found on audio and lighting cables. It's all in the cable. XLR cables are generally built with high capacitance, low impedance, 40 to 110 ohms, and robust shielding. This is ideal for analog signals which are not greatly affected by varying levels of capacitance and impedance but do require protection from external noise. Digital signals, on the other hand, are very sensitive to changes in voltage, which means any energy absorbed by the cable can affect the next line of information and corrupt the signal. Digital data is also susceptible to signal reflections from the end of cables, which, like ripples meeting in water, can cancel out and distort the original signal. While XLR cables will work for DMX data, there's no guarantee that your signal will make it through in one piece, especially over long distances. This is why genuine DMX cables are made with low capacitance materials and higher 120 ohms impedance, which better match the characteristics of DMX signals and eliminates the risk of corruption. Vice versa, DMX cable will work for sending analog signals, but with the difference in capacitance, impedance and shielding, you may experience some inconsistent sound levels and increased noise. Finally, one of the most important things that impact which cables some people buy, price. Based on everything I've said before, it's easy to see why DMX cables are more expensive. They're made to a specific standard with different materials and manufacturing, which naturally carries a higher price tag. That's not to say that some XLR cables won't cost just as much, or do the same job as a DMX cable, but in general, XLR cables are considerably cheaper. In case you are still wondering, can I use XLR cables for DMX? The answer is yes, kind of. DMX cables can be used to transmit audio. XLR cables can be used to transmit DMX, but it's not worth the risk. XLR cables can cause lighting to flicker or behave strangely, and DMX cables can muddy your sound. What's more, once you've started mixing up XLR and DMX cables, it can be very difficult to tell them apart without looking at each cable. This can make troubleshooting large rigs an absolute nightmare. Save yourself the hassle. Pick the right cable for the job because things can and will go wrong at the worst possible moment. We hope you found this video helpful. If you did, why not give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments about your experiences mixing XLR and DMX cables. Thanks for watching.